hello students this is suraj rasa here okay and we have finished with the last unit of uh, mobile computing in previous lecture session and i hope you have understood the whole syllabus in uh, more detail okay so in next session okay i have planned to i have planned to you know conduct lecture session on uh, the question paper writing okay and for this purpose i'll try to refer the the question papers from our uh, previous university exams okay so you know uh, what i think is basically before starting with the uh, actual paper solving okay that is uh, you know uh, you should know how to write down answers uh, for uh, mobile computing questions okay so uh, i think it would be better first of all should go through the each unit you know brief that is uh you know i'll try to explain you the uh, the brief introduction to each unit and after that only we will try to go through the previous year question paper and i'll try to explain how to write the answers for respective asked questions or you know uh, i'll try to explain you uh, what should be the points for those next topic covered in your uh, university examination so uh, as uh, you know we have already gone through all the units where first unit is based on introduction to uh, mobile computing where the the basics or introduction to mobile network is covered okay and very important focus was uh, you know we have uh, already learned that uh, how this mobile network differs from a stable network and you know we have uh, gone through a little bit um, uh, the mac protocols used in mobile network as well as uh, we have already gone through some network assignment scheme uh, related to the mobile network in the first unit okay so i'll try to go through each unit in mod in uh, in brief okay first of all let's have overall introduction to all units again so this was uh, introduction to first unit then second unit okay we have uh, already learned okay what is uh, mobile ip and basically uh, we have already covered some uh, mobile internet protocols so uh, we have seen that how tcp ip layer is uh, used to exchange the information how the information is passed from each layer of uh, tcp ip uh, what is the main role of uh, mobile ip in mobile network uh, also we have uh, learned some root optimization techniques also okay so the main focus of second unit was on uh, what is mobile ip and the rest of protocols in third unit basically uh, you know uh, we have already learned the technologies used in mobile network to share or exchange the information okay so while learning this uh, third unit which is based on mobile telecommunication system okay we have learned some uh, technologies like what is gsm what is gprs what is umts 3g 4g and so on okay and in fourth unit basically we have learned the types of net mobile networks available okay where we have uh, seen two types of uh, two examples of mobile networks okay we have learned what is manet we have learned what is uh, vanet okay and as well as the relevant theory and very important thing also we had covered that uh, some routing protocols okay based on some routing algorithms okay uh, which are used in uh, mobile network then in fifth unit uh, we have learned the basics of uh, mobile operating system okay so we have gone through each uh, uh, existing mobile operating system okay that is uh, we have seen the architectures of uh, ios operating system then android uh, uh, operating system then we have seen uh the blackberry operating system and windows phone operating system also and we have tried to compare those uh, mobile operating systems okay and we have tried to we have tried to learn those 
Windows Mobile operating system seen more depth by comparing some real-time user functions. Also, we have tried to compare this mobile operating system with desktop based uh, um, operating system also. <coughs> okay, so and obviously, okay, uh, we are right now we are discussing about your theory sessions. Okay, so while learning this whole course, uh, we have already learned some. Uh, you know, practical so that is uh, we have done implemented some practicals where we have uh, implemented some uh, android applications also in android studio okay but in theoretical way the android studio's uh, introduction is given in 5th unit only okay so even though while learning this unit also uh, you know uh, i had uploaded a session related to the android application development also and we have uh, already developed uh, so many applications based on android operating system so this is uh, your fifth unit okay and last unit uh, we had some we had seen one real time example or real time application of uh, mobile network okay so while learning real time applications of mobile network okay we have separated this mobile payment system in e commerce in different types of uh, m commerce based applications okay like uh, we have seen some m commerce based applications uh, through merchants we have seen some m commerce based applications through uh, uh, you know payment gateways or we have seen some m commerce based applications from banking side so in short uh, you know we have uh, seen the architectures of uh, in commerce applications also very important part we had covered during those sessions as uh, the working of uh, in commerce based application or uh, you know some part we had tried to cover the uh, related to the mobile payment uh, gateway based applications also so in more depth we had learned this part okay in the you know during the last three to four sessions so i hope you have understood all all units of uh, mobile computing in more detail okay now let's start with the brief introduction to first unit it is uh, introduction to mobile computing so uh, basically in first unit okay first of all you know that is uh, before starting with actual sub units of first unit uh we have already seen that why we are learning this course that is mobile computing or mobile network also we had tried to uh, we had tried to compare this mobile computing or mobile network with your stable network and uh, you know as uh, the prerequisite to learn this uh, course is you should have knowledge about the computer net computer network or the fundamentals of uh, data communication so you know almost we had covered the basics related to the computer computer network or its working or you know uh, we had already gone through in more depth about computer computer network in previous semester which is the right now prerequisite to learn mobile network okay so we had seen uh, the comparison between mobile network and stable network in uh, uh, first unit okay so why you are learning this subject and what is the imp importance of uh, this mobile computing subject in day to day life uh, we had uh, already learned while learning our first unit unit okay just try to revise we have uh, patience okay just try to revise what we have seen in uh, you know what we have seen while learning your first uh, unit of this course i'm just trying to revise all units okay that is the basics related to the each unit so i hope uh, this theory session will be useful for you to revise few points from your previous series session also and don't get confused okay you can ask me if you are not able to understand anything or if you have not understood any uh, you know uh, points from my previous session for understanding purpose okay let's compare two examples okay so first of all i am going to compare the example related to the stable network or the example which you have learned by learning the computer computer network subject how does the 
internet works was a uh, very you know uh, popular uh, uh, information okay so let's start with the stable network concept so that uh, you can understand the difference between the wired or say the stable network point with uh, mobile computing or mobile network okay so for understanding purpose let's assume that this is your uh, home network basically okay now home networks are you know so many types of networks are there okay you can consider any type of network uh, you know based on the application or which for which purpose you are using that type of network which forms your home network so for understanding purpose okay let's uh, assume that this is basically your considered say wi-fi network okay now everybody is known to this thing that how does this wi-fi network is formed so in short okay this can be your home network okay now everybody is known to this thing that uh, what is the range of wi-fi okay so wi-fi may cover the range around say you know approximately 100 to 200 meters so consider say this is your wi-fi network and obviously to uh, have connection to the wi-fi network okay what is the uh, what is the network device used in this case is very simple example okay let's consider say this is okay for understanding purpose i'm just drawing this device here okay so the suppose this is your local router okay so okay consider say uh, this is your local router okay through which you will have access to the internet okay just try to con understand i'm not uh, enjoying i'm just trying to draw it in a better way but okay so uh, it is taking more time okay so this is your local router suppose okay now this local router will provide network access to the devices okay now consider say one user is trying to connect okay to this local router this is a device suppose can consider it any wireless device or wired device wired device also okay so for understanding purpose let's consider this is your laptop okay which is in short wi-fi enabled device okay so this is the user or you can consider it as end user okay so basically the end user is trying to connect to the network through this local router okay so uh, you know while learning the basics of computer network we have uh, already learned that okay how does this uh, network device works and what is the step is when this device is uh, you know when this device is started so its first step is first of all it will try to assume some network address okay i'm just trying to explain you the basics also so first of all this device will try to assume some network address okay and based on that network address it will try to assume or based on requirement only it will try to consider some class and after assuming this class it will try to allocate ip addresses to the devices okay so those are normal normal steps available while creating or establishing network here is a very important thing that this establishing network that is uh, wi-fi technology is used to establish your home network okay so you know while establishing network this without router this role cannot be done okay as we have already learned 
and you know how does uh, it works what are the steps it has to pass through to establish home network also we have already seen just try to remind it so those are the steps okay which is followed by this networking device to establish uh, home network basically so network address okay so basically how it is going to assume everything it might be class it might be network address as we already seen that it is based on requirement okay so since this is a end network and which is uh, based on wi-fi so it will try to assume some maximum capacity of network based on that it will try to assume some network address <coughs> okay so obviously the network address again uh, network address will be based on the uh, class and the class will be decided it will be decided based on the requirement okay so this home network may have requirement which is less than uh, 255 users okay or approximately you know the number may vary so okay uh, this net this uh, this net local router might be assume the class as suppose okay say the class is class c okay i'm just writing here the class is c because the requirement is just to have connection to the uh, say not more than 200 255 users okay so based on that it will try to assume some network address now you can consider any network address based on class c segment now what is class c we have all day long so consider say this is your network address okay which is based on again class c okay so uh, the important steps are done here that is two steps now next thing is ip allocation okay so uh, the you know the very important thing is that if any device is to you know uh, transfer the information through uh, through the medium or through the network or to reroute the information or to generate or to make network packets first of all that device should have some ip address also so this third step is very important ip allocation so the next step is it will try to allocate some IP address to itself first of all. Okay, again it will be based on same class. So consider that this device is allocated IP address to itself first of all, which is 192.168.1.1, which is based on same network address only. Now next step is okay, this user is trying to connect to this uh, Wi-Fi router or local router you can consider. So here it will try to allocate the IP address to this device also. Okay, so if you see right now, first IP address in that network address is been allocated to itself first of all, and again based on the user's request, okay, it will try to allocate the IP address to that end user based on same network address only which is based on class C or this is your network address ok so uh, now the IP allocation step is done now here in this case again I am repeating why we are looking this this you know, previous thread is because we are going to compare the stable network with the mobile network further ok so ok and which where this uh, this you know this circle basically uh, defines the range okay so range of this network for understanding purpose we assume that this is wi-fi network okay and the range may vary okay that is the range will vary based on the type of device used so normally the range is you know between 100 to 200 meters okay so this trick is done now here so if you see basically okay so uh, this is home network okay and in short this is not example of uh, pure mobile network this is a part of wide network in short okay so why i'm saying this is because further if you see this local router is always connected to the internet service provider Okay, so I'm just writing in short. ISP, ISP can be varied. 
ओके इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइड करने दो सेंस ए टी एम पी यू नो एनी इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर बी एस एन एल एयरटेल और एनी इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर हु इज प्रोवाइडिंग द ब्रॉडबैंड नेटवर्क बेसिकली सो इन शॉर्ट दिस लोकल राउटर विल बी कनेक्टेड टू द इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर एंड फर्दर दिस इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर विल बी कनेक्टेड थ्रू द इंटरनेट ओके सो दिस इज सपोज इंटरनेट ओके एंड थ्रू दिस इंटरनेट बेसिकली इट विल बी फर्दर कनेक्टेड server okay no basically what is server is don't get confused i'll let you know what a server is okay so it will consider a very simple example okay uh let's say when this user will be connected to the internet service provider through this local router those that is followed by the steps uh, that is including protocols and standards this end user will have network access that is in short this user will have access to the internet okay so right now suppose this user is using some web application that is a web browser okay any web browser let's say google chrome through google chrome let's say this end user is accessing google.com as a website so in short this google.com website is you know in short it is one kind of information which is coming from another end okay so in this kind of example okay the information is coming from in another end server okay so in this particular example the server is nothing but the google web server okay so from that google web server the information is uh, now coming from the server to internet to internet service provider to local router and through local router it is passed to the that is through your wifi network that is passed to the end user and then a user will have the respective output you know those are the just only the basics okay so this is how your stable network is formed in short always remember okay this is a very simple example for stable network or wired network so you might be thinking that here the part of uh, network is wireless okay you suppose but uh, you know the the point here is once the ip address is uh, allocated to that end user it remains as it is unless until the user is not disconnected from the network this is very important point here okay so and even though i am trying to explain you those steps uh, steps also is because same thing will differ for mobile networks okay so this is your stable network or uh, for understanding purpose you can consider this example as a broadband network okay so just think about it okay where okay it has a certain limitations like it has a limited range okay then its protocols and standards are same that is even though nothing is changed okay third thing is very important thing address allocation very simple example ip allocation you can consider is the same okay can access network through single network only this network through mm -hmm. single network only single network in the sense for this example you can consider it as a uh, your local that is your wifi network only okay so there are so so many points for that so i i like i'll try to explain okay since this is just only uh, brief introduction to first unit 
okay so those are the points uh, re uh, related to the broadband network which we had considered as example to understand how stable network works <coughs> okay now next point is again if you compare the information exchange between two end devices first end devices end user another end devices server okay again the server of two in devices what i can mean okay i'm just writing here on the fifth point two in devices two end devices can communicate through allocated addresses only now what is the meaning behind it is it is C first of all as uh, you know uh, we have already seen that this device are allocated with some IP addresses. Okay, actually this point is not included here. Okay, just uh, just try to understand fifth point. Uh, okay, that is you know uh, as we already seen that one IP address is allocated to the same device, another IP address is allocated to the same device. So you know while uh, doing communication, okay, this server responds to the end user with respect to the IP address only that is this server recognize this user with respect to this end device only that is unless until okay or say when this device is available within the home network that is uh, Wi-Fi based home network only okay so till that limit only the server will try to identify this as the end user to continue with the previous communication okay instead of this suppose okay let's say this is uh, another network okay another home network is available okay after some time okay say uh, it's, i'm just writing here in short this is suppose another home network okay so after some time suppose this user has left out the previous home network and after some time suppose this user has entered into another home network okay that is that user might be have registered within that home network okay you can consider say very simple example again previous example another example so, wi-fi another wi-fi network is established over here and okay uh, it has formed a network network where this user has entered again here okay and previously this end user is trying to fetch some information from this server okay so right now this user has left out this network and this user has entered into another network okay again wi-fi best, best network we have considered so when this user okay is you know uh, trying to communicate again okay here through this network when user is trying to communicate with that server again through the same route that is through this home network through internet service provider through internet through server at this time this server okay, will identify this user as another user always remember since this user is right now part of this another home network okay so at this moment this server will try to recognize or identify this user as another user okay and it this server will try to treat okay this user as a different user and this user as different user but basically we see both of these users are same okay so this happens in stable network 
i hope you have understood in a way in a better way that uh, you know uh, what is the possibility in stable network so this is another point this is the meaning behind this fifth point i was trying to mention here okay which is the end devices okay can have the uh, address allocation part only when or only till the time when the users are available on the respective network only that is what is its meaning is when okay the user will have that identity only till the time where the end user or any user is available within that network okay till the time so when this user will be disconnected from this network again this user will have another identity okay so uh, this is very uh, important thing in uh, stable network or mobile network you can consider sorry not mobile network in stable network or wired network okay so uh, no, uh, this is a very important thing which is covered in mobile network so this is your stable network okay so for understanding purpose okay now again i am going to draw uh, one more diagram for mobile network okay so uh, i will just try to cover or write down this point here again okay so this is identity identity is related to the connected network only okay user's identity is related to the connected network only which will be finished when user will be this connect from the same network okay so this theory is uh, related to the stable network okay so uh, again try to understand what do i mean to say and what is the meaning behind this statement is right now suppose okay this user is uh, this user is uh, uh, accessing okay let's say for a certain purpose again consider the same example okay so let's consider it again same example for a certain purpose right now suppose this user is uh, <coughs> okay let's say this user is trying to uh, you know uh, is uh, downloading some content from this server right now to this network and through internet service provider okay so what will be flow is again from the same device to local router through isp through internet and through the server so this will be normal normal flow okay and obviously the session is established the communication the communication takes place between the same link through the same link only and after some time suppose okay due to some reason okay let's say this uh, network is disconnected okay uh, where our example is like this user is downloading some content from the server okay so at this time okay, con you say there are there can be any condition like first one any uh, like uh, the current condition is the user is disconnected from the network okay which is this your uh, which is considered the home network and which has the network address as this one okay so after some time suppose uh, this user is again uh, connected okay that is after some time let's say this router is uh, restarted okay and again it has gone through all mentioned steps and uh, it has allocated some ip address to the end device okay right now suppose uh, in this time let's say the 
and located IP address is 192.168.1.5 suppose at this moment okay and if again this end user okay try to uh, continue with the previous downloading session which was uh, you know paused or which was uh, aborted or due to this disconnection re re uh, reason let's say this thing might be you know in a pausing state so if the user is, uh, user is trying to start downloading the remaining content again then what will happen is okay this server okay when the request will be delivered to the server okay this time the server may not recognize this user because due to change in IP address allocation or change in the rest of the network settings too okay so here is a very important thing that everything is based on the home network okay and the IP allocation also so this user will have the temporarily given user's identity until the user is connected or available within the same same network only okay which is following some standard protocol suit okay so this this is the first example and you know uh, another example also i had already explained you where okay in this way let's say this is your first uh, wi-fi based network okay so in similar manner okay as i had, I had explained you that there can be uh, another uh, home network also okay so again there might be another wi-fi based home network okay so after some time okay let's consider say this user has uh, entered into that particular network okay after some time suppose and you know uh, again this user was trying to continue with the previous session or continue with the previous activity okay uh, okay which which has been done through isp through internet and through that particular server so again this user will not able to continue with the same session or same activity due to change in its ip or change in the protocol suit see what do i mean to say is when this user will enter into another network at this time what will happen is this uh, basically this network okay uh, will try to assign some ip address to this device which will be again different from that uh, previous ip address due to which again this server may not identify this user okay so you know this is uh, you know very major difference between the stable and mobile network okay so basically this thing is covered in mobile network okay i let you know this point okay so this is theoretical explanation about how does your stable network works because you know the if the question is asked explain or compare the stable network and mobile network or you know uh, uh, you should know why you are learning this mobile computing subject or why you have gone through all units related to the mobile network even though if you have all different stable or uh, you know the computer network basically in previous semesters so this is the reason why you have the mobile network because you know the drawbacks identified in this case you know it might be the limited range <coughs> okay so you uh, know it might be the limited range it might be the the stable protocols and standards it might be the single ip address allocation or uh, it might be the access network through single network only you know or uh, it might be related to related to the uh, you know the, the the single user identity only or you know the 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 mobile device will have uh, network access sorry the the particular device will have network access through that particular network only that is the another network cannot be involved in the previous communication so this was a draw a major drawback of stable network so i hope you have uh, understood the <coughs> you know what it, basically what is stable network 
okay so after this session let's now see the basics of mobile network that is okay the theory further will be explained in comparison with this example okay i hope you will understand it in a way like better way okay there is no any you know uh, it is a very simple thing and okay this is a type of network it is fine we are using day to day life activity okay so it is fine that right now uh, you know uh, you have uh, gone through the theory related to the stable network because it is important to compare something with mobile network okay so now uh, after that let's see the uh, introduction to mobile network okay after which only we can compare the stable network with the mobile network 